What is up, you guys? I'm Fresh Cut Slam. Today, I'm going to be reacting to Top 10 Scary Ghost Videos by Noose Top 5. And hopefully, it's be quite spooky, but not really that spooky. I don't like getting that scared. I freaking hate getting jump scared, actually. Anyway, with that being said, the original link's in the description. Make sure you go subscribe to Nuke. Without any further ado, let's begin. Are you ready to get spooked, boys? Are you ready to get spooked? Paranormal enthusiast James White has a very spooky business. He professionally arranges and hosts seances in allegedly haunted and abandoned buildings in Toronto. In Toronto? That seems like a friggin... This is his business? Seances business? I don't know. I know in the, in the past, doing this kind of stuff... Uh, mm, let's, just, let's just keep watching. Toronto, Canada. James is hosting a seance at the historic Lambton House with a group of curious participants. The Lambton House is a former inn that was built in 1860, and it is said to be extremely haunted. Now, 1860. I was gonna say something that's gonna make me sound really stupid, so I'm thinking maybe I shouldn't say it. Like, was Canada round back then? <laughs> I think they gotta be, right? 1860? I don't know when Canada was founded. Maybe like... Oh, frick. Alright, I'm gonna go Google it now. I'm gonna go Google it. Let's make myself look like an idiot. Alright. When was Canada founded? 1867. Yo, I was so close. I was so close. So they were just founded. Wait, what? Hold on. Give me a second, second here. Now James White, 1860, and his participants. The Lambton House is a former inn that was built in 1860. Why the frick would they build this within seven years of the country being founded? That doesn't make sense. And it is said to be... So this is like one of the first houses in Canada this guy's doing his thing in? Extremely haunted. Now J Oh, frig, I didn't even... I didn't even have it over here. Okay, anyway. James White and his group are about to witness something absolutely terrifying. Just freaking like, just freaking like, bow, this person, bow. Is it a, um, is it a male? Oh, oh, my God. 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 Oh, my I'll say this, I don't know this person, but I know in in the past, there have been, there was a guy who went around to these kind of things, and, like, he d disproved every single one of them, where his whole thing was finding out how they're tricking people, because if they're, you know, like, if all these people are paying this guy to do this, then there's an incentive for the guy to fake it. I am not saying that is what he's doing, but I know in the past, other people have, so... Like, th it, I'm definitely more skeptical of this compared to other ghost hunting type videos because if there's a financial incentive, then it's, you know, there's a higher chance someone's willing to fake it because they're getting a payday from it. You know? I'm not saying that's what the guy's doing. I'm just more skeptical of it. While in the middle of a seance, one participant is forcefully yanked backwards out of his chair. That'd be freaking terrifying. Like, I, I, I'd be like, no, that's it. By an unseen force. Is it, um, is it a male? Oh, oh, my God. God. oh my God. Oh, my God. The door behind Just freaking like, uh, <laughs> just roundhouse kicks him. Behind me was open. And, um, I had my partner sitting beside me. And we had the door, like the door was open behind us and we thought we heard something back there, but nothing was there. So we turned and I looked and I saw nothing. So I turned my head back towards the group, like the circle and we're all holding hands. And then all of a sudden I just felt like this force just come and pull me back. And it also that's the guy who got freaking yanked. It was like aggressive. Like aggressive. It wasn't like calm. It was aggressive. Like 
it was trying to kill me or something. I don't even know. My feet were like flat on the ground. I wasn't moving. I was holding hands with the people beside me. Uh, what's your next step? Like, do you complete this whole seance thing? I don't know. I, I would never do one of those seances. I did, don't mess with these things. And it just pulled me. And it like felt like someone was coming up behind me, like standing up behind me as I'm sitting in the chair and like taking my shoulders and like pulling me towards the- Choking him out. It was crazy. Fellow participants and eyewitnesses from the seance took to Instagram to share their stories about the incident. One seance witness had this to say about the strange event. I sat across from him when this happened and it was fantastic to see. She doesn't seem concerned at all. It was amazing. What a good experience. The guy almost got freaking killed. Fantastic show. Another witness says, I was there. Another epic seance with at James White seance. No one's showing concern for this guy? Getting like kicked to the floor or whatever? So did James White capture evidence of an unknown entity aggressively grabbing an innocent visitor at the Lambton house? I leave it up to you to decide. Yeah, like, I, I don't know. The fact that those people aren't showing any concern and they're just promoting this guy doing it, I'm not saying he's they're, he, they're paid or anything like that. I'm just saying I'm very skeptical when it comes to people getting money for spooky crap, you know? Very skeptical. However, I, I myself would not be doing a seance or go to one of those things. Frig that. Scream. YouTube channel D's Dark Adventures says that an anonymous fan emailed her about a very creepy experience he had while driving home late one night. The dash cam video shows the man driving down an isolated country road in the middle of nowhere. Suddenly, he spots something that makes his blood run cold. All right, here we go. Let's see. Oh, someone, is that a lady? Nope. I am seeing things. Very good. Oh, there's someone. Excuse me, you need help? What the f Friggin' crackhead. The driver suddenly spots a woman walking all by herself in the middle of the night. As he gets closer, he is horrified when- Like, look, she's got blood on her. He sees that the woman is covered in blood. Worried for her safety, he rolls down his window and asks her if she needs help. Excuse me, you need help. After which, she lets out a blood-curdling scream. Now, what if she actually was in, like, a state of, like, she's not mentally right, and so she actually does need help, and then this guy just takes off? <laughs> you need help? Ah! Oh, okay, bye. No, I do need help. Ah! What the f***? At this point, the man notices that the woman appears to have no eyes, only black sockets. Terrified by her- It's the freaking middle of the night. Of course your eyes are gonna appear black. Her reaction and appearance, the driver quickly just gets out of there. He says that he called the police, but they never found this mysterious woman. So just what- Looks like she's got a freaking kinked neck. Look at that. Police, but they never found this mysterious woman. Look at her neck. What the frig is this neck? I think she needs some chiropractic help <laughs> more than anything. <laughs> so just what do you think is going on here? And we, what the frig is with this neck? Even like this, her neck looks, her whole friggin' body looks janky. She definitely needs some kind of like surgical help or something. I don't know if it's real or fake, whatever. What the f Smoke another one, lady. The woman in white. Duke's top five viewer and paranormal investigator Mark Reyes emailed me about a video that he captured with his family while on a ghost hunt at the Evangelical Spiritual Church in Cicero, Illinois. The church was once used as a funeral home and is said to be extremely haunted. It's the middle of the night and Rick and his family are investigating the church when suddenly their EMF meter detects something that they can't see. What happens next is truly chilling. Are you afraid? You like that? Sound like music. That room over there is scary. Have you seen it? This one. Come here. The freaking carpet's scary. <laughs> this one. 
What was that? Why the freaking what's the sound effect? This is a private office. That's how you can go in there. Freaking chairs look like they're from the 1800s. No, I'm saying that it's open because we could. Well maintained though. <laughs> what's going on? I don't see anything. Did you see it? A woman who seems to be wearing a white gown can be seen standing behind the family on the far side of the church. Ricky says that his daughter felt a presence. Oh, okay. Oh, that's freaking creepy. As she looked back, but that none of them actually saw the mysterious woman at the time. It wasn't until they returned home that they discovered what they had captured. I mean, if that's real, that's freaking creepy. So could this eerie figure possibly be the spirit of one of the people who passed through the funeral home? Let me know what you think. We. I think, I think you freaking need to like get a priest in there and do a little dancing. Need scary videos. So if you tell the channel Midwest Ghost Hunter is back with another investigation. This time at the mysterious Native American burial mounds at the Crow Wing River in Minnesota. Many people claim to have experienced terrifying paranormal activity at the burial mounds. Some have heard the strange sound of phantom drums and disembodied voices, and some visitors even claim that they have seen glowing apparitions at the site. Curious about the claims, Ian decides to do an overnight investigation. Overnight? By yourself? Oh, frig that. In the hopes of capturing paranormal evidence. Things quickly take a very creepy turn as Ian searches for one of the burial mounds. I think you need to go with someone else if you're doing this, especially if you're in the middle of freaking woods in an area that's apparently haunted or whatever. You need to go with someone else because if you, you can, one person, it's a lot easier to, like, if you're alone, you could be tricked easier into thinking that you're hearing stuff. Like, you could, st your brain could start making you think that, oh, wah, wah. What? But if you have someone else with you, it kind of keeps you more in like a balanced state, I think. And if you're doing this, like you definitely should have had someone else go with you. That way they can kind of confirm whether or not something is there or not. Or, you know, kind of keep you calm. Man, walking through these woods, I feel like anything could just pop out at me right now. Like, from anywhere. Bears, Bigfoot, ghosts, anything. Colonel Sanders. Okay. I don't know if I'm going crazy. I thought I heard something behind me. See, that's what I'm saying. If you had someone else there, they could kind of verify. If, oh, yeah, I heard that too. Or, no, you're going crazy. That'll keep this guy kind of at a, like a calm if you had someone else there. Hello? Hello? Who's over there? Uh, maybe I'm just paranoid. I thought, thought I heard something, but I'm not sure. Ooh, holy shit. Okay. I can't hear anything. All I hear is his footsteps. Like, yeah, maybe he heard them, but like, I can't really decipher the difference in the video. All right. Okay, I don't know, man. I, I, maybe I'm not going crazy. I don't know if I should try this, but I'm going to try walking backwards because I want to see what's... Walking backwards? What the freak is that going to do? Coming up behind me. Yeah, but then what if some... What? He's walking backwards. So is he going to turn around and walk back the way he came, or is he just going to start walking backwards? How? Would... But then they could just go to the opposite side of him. I don't get it. Then what if it's behind you again? Like, it doesn't make sense. Shut up. Honestly, I don't even like walking backwards. I don't know what's ahead of me. Walk sideways. Then you can see both sides. Friggin' crab walk. Is there somebody out here with me? Oh, oh my god! <gasps> nope. <laughs> Holy sh**. That's he didn't run away? I would've friggin' ran. It scared me so bad. I would've actually been there. I wouldn't have been there in the first place. But if I was, I would've ran. That was a straight up voice from thin air. It was as if somebody was standing like right there. 
Hello? Ian hears footsteps following him. Then he hears a loud, indiscernible voice. He's now a little freaked out. It's just, some guy, he, it's just some guy trying to sell him like car insurance. Continues his search until he finally finds one of the Native American burial mounds. He kept going after that? I would have freaking bounced. You literally have, like, you know something is right following you or messing with you. Why are you continuing? What happens next is truly disturbing. All right, here's mound number two. I'm actually not going to say anything this time. I'm actually just going to listen. I mean, what's the friggin' point of continuing on when you already know that there is some kind of entity or whatever messing with you or around you? Like, you you have your proof. Friggin' leave. <laughs> I don't hear anything. Okay, I guess there's something there. Oh my god, I'm hearing all kinds of things over here. That's what schizophrenic people say. Not saying he is. It sounds like voices. But they're so faint. A female voice can be heard speaking almost as if someone at the burial mound is having a long, involved conversation. But it's something else that really spooks Ian as he explores the Crowing River's edge. Why the f I don't understand why he's continuing going on. Like, clearly there's something going on. Just leave. Something truly terrifying. Even though there's really not much terrifying. going on right now, it's a lot of fun just being out here. That's this. Two weeks to run, I guess. Out in the wilderness. Even though it's dark. And terrifying. I can barely see 10 feet ahead of me. Holy sh. That's the truly terrifying part. That's funny. Just when I said it was fun being out here. Pretty sure there was a goose back there splashing in the water. Of all things, Ian's biggest scare so far comes from the sudden sound of a honking goose. Holy sh! Eventually, they are menacing. Another burial mound. Now, Ian knows that he might not be able to communicate in English with the spirits of the Native Americans buried there. So, he decides to just listen. What? <laughs> At least he didn't start trying to like fake he knew how to speak it and just start sounding like an idiot. <laughs> It starts like pretending he knows it, like someone pretending they know Spen, like they know French. You know, <laughs> just imagine he did that. What happens next is truly bizarre. <gasps> okay. Stupid chair keeps squeaking. I can't hear anything but my chair squeaking. I just start talking. I sounded like a male voice. Could you speak again? I could barely hear it, but I do hear something. Then? <gasps> oh my god! Dude! That was a face! I what? just see the face! What? That was a glowing face! Where? I don't see anything. I need an arrow. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh my god! I cannot believe that! Dude, his face just appeared right there. That's freaking crazy. Why would you not leave? Why would you not leave? That's like, <laughs> I don't get Right it. there. Oh my God, that was one of the craziest things I've ever seen. It's one thing to see a light, a mist, a, even a shadow, but a face, a face. It looked like a man too. It looked like a Native American man. Ian hears another low voice speaking from somewhere nearby. What if like, it was just like a logo, like a, a McDonald's M. <laughs> like, they get paid to advertise? A pale face then quickly appears and disappears from right out of the darkness. 
Ian is shocked by what he has captured and deems his paranormal investigation a huge success. I would say it was a success when you start freaking hearing, when he's walking, you know, 20 minutes ago or whatever, hearing things. So did Ian capture the voices and face of lingering Native American spirits buried at the Crow Wing River? Let me know what you think. You can watch this entire- Definitely caught something. It's pretty crazy. I don't, I, he's got friggin' like, nads of steel to continue his quest when he was like, there were voices all around him when he was walking, you know, way earlier in the video. I'm surprised he continued on. It doesn't make sense to why he would. I don't get it. Tire investigation and many more spooky adventures over on the YouTube channel, Midwest Ghost Hunter. Yeah, go check him out. San Haven Sanatorium. Nuke's top five viewer Ricky and his sister Vicky set out to explore the old abandoned San Haven Sanatorium near Dunseith, North Dakota. The sanatorium was built in 1912 as a treatment center for patients suffering from tuberculosis. Many of these patients did not survive. They passed away inside the walls of the San Haven Sanatorium. In the 1960s, the hospital became a treatment center for the mentally impaired. However, it was eventually closed in 1987 after many reports of patient mistreatment and neglect. That seems to happen a lot. I don't know why, but like the mistreatment happens a lot. I guess a lot of people just don't have enough compassion for other people. If you, especially if you're in a field where you have to have that, such as the medical field, or we're or we're like a uh, personal support worker type of person, like you should definitely be caring to go into that field. Like you shouldn't be doing that for if you're doing it for the money, but you don't actually have any caring toward the people you're looking after. It's probably the wrong field for you because you could do other things where you make a lot of money where you don't need to have compassion. The San Haven Sanatorium is now known as a paranormal hotspot and to this day those with an interest in the supernatural travel to the hospital to explore hoping to experience. <laughs> no structural problems there folks looks fantastic definitely a stable building. Paranormal activity. <laughs> so Ricky and his sister are carefully exploring the creepy old decaying building. Oh my gosh. They experience something downright creepy. You know, I found some more. Look at buildings falling apart. I don't, why don't they tear the stupid thing down and sell the property? I don't get it why they, there's so many abandoned buildings like this. Especially this, this probably would have been, I don't know if it would be government owned or what. Because it was like a hospital or whatever, like just tear it down and sell the thing oh come on let me have that couldn't tell you oh that's creepy as yeah this building's getting pretty pretty bad that's what i'm saying shouldn't be walking around in that That's freaking creepy. That wasn't you, was it? No. Yeah, no, her arms, her our go go gadget arm, freaking up to the ceiling to bash that. That, that, this freaking pipe or whatever right here was like bashing on the ceiling. Was that you? Sounds like someone's upstairs. Oh, was it? It sounded like this was going up and it looked like this was going up and down. Oh, maybe it's someone up on top of this. There's oh. someone upstairs. <laughs> There's someone upstairs. I hope so. I really hope so. Hello? Hello? Where are you at? I didn't realize the upstairs was so close to them. <laughs> like, freaking hold the floor? Did not expect that. Now, it should be noted that this odd event can be explained Look at it, it away. did, it did. That freaking pipe did move. It's simply water rattling around in the building's old rusty pipes. That doesn't make sense. Water doesn't normally do that. Especially if it's been abandoned for years. Water wouldn't be, like, shaking. Unless you, like, what do you have the... They, they do they still have running water and like their their pumps or whatever are working so the water's still running through everything like it doesn't that it doesn't make sense in fact if you look closely this yeah, that, isn't the pipe was working even a water pipe at all 
It's actually a piece of old metal electrical conduit that has been cut in half. Nevertheless, it moves and rattles as if shaken by some unknown force. Ricky and his sister are a bit freaked out and worried that they might not be alone in the sanatorium. However, that's definitely a concern that you should have when you go into an abandoned building. It's like a lot of homeless people, I mean, that would seek shelter. That would be the place to go. So you got to come prepared with some kind of protection because people who are homeless, not all, but a large portion have some kind of issue where you got to be careful because you never know what you never know what's going to go down, shall we say. Even if there was someone else upstairs, it would be impossible for that person to even reach this metal conduit to make it move. So this creepy capture remains a mystery. Is that it for the video? The thing down the hall. The thing in my pants. All right, this will be the last one that'll get on the video. A group of friends from Madrid, Spain are hanging out when they suddenly hear strange sounds coming from the bathroom down the hall. <laughs> what the frig? What the frig are they hearing? <laughs> Who's in the bathroom? Is anyone in there? Hello? No, 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 Total sign of look at you know like door hinges or whatever they're called. Why does that door have like six of them on that the bathroom door? Have six of them. This is freaking creepy. Oh my, oh, that's fake. But that's freaking creepy. That's a great thumbnail. All right, everyone, time to look, it's time to look scared. Suck. Uh. <laughs> that's creepy, but yeah, I don't, that's not, that's freaking, I don't believe that. But I'm definitely gonna use that for the thumbnail. Yeah, what the oh, Holy oh, crap, oh, boys. Get it, get it, get it. What the no. okay. Holy The guys crap. are hesitant to look inside the bathroom, but when they do, something horrifying can be seen staring back at I wonder if I could buy that mask on like Amazon. Them. User Ain Holval shares the Anal Vault? What? Video to TikTok with the caption, What the hell was in my bathroom? If that was real, though, that'd be so freaking terrifying. I don't know. If that was real, like you'd be I don't know. Burning down your house? <laughs> now it's certainly very creepy, but is it real? <laughs> or... <laughs> like even Nick's question again, like uh, yeah, okay, bud. Is it all just an elaborate TikTok hoax? You just It's definitely a great thumbnail. Anyway, I'm ending the video here. I uh, hope you guys like this. Hope you like my reaction. I think I'd rate this out of a 10 for spookiness. Hmm. The one with the guy walking in the forest and like the native burial ground, I think was probably real. The one with the, the pipe hitting the ceiling, I think that's probably also real, whether it was some kind of entity doing it or some homeless guy walking above doing it. I don't know. Uh, what else was in here? The one with the lady on the road with a freaking kinked neck. I have no clue what the frig was going on in that. Looks real, but also maybe it was like a real person who has some kind of issue. And then she freaked out at him. Like maybe she was in like a mental crisis at that point. Who knows? But uh, with that being said, I hope you guys like this video. If you are new, hit subscribe. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.